Personal story segment tonight, as you know, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. And to celebrate, we spoke with our favorite wordsmith. Her name is Marina. Her website is hot for words. Roll the tape. Valentine's Day tomorrow. Yes. How did Valentine's Day get into the uh, culture? St. Valentine's Day was actually named after two priests. First was a priest who continued to marry people I do. after Emperor Claudius banned marriages because he hoped that men would join the army, you know, easier if they don't need to leave their wives. Oh, that's interesting. So Emperor Claudius got mad at a priest who was marrying people because he wanted all the guys to be single, single exactly. in the army. Mm -hmm. The second priest who was also named Valentine, he actually helped Christians escape Roman persecution. So both of them were killed on the 14th of February. Really? Yes. So they were both named Valentine? Yes. They're both saints in yes. the Catholic Church? Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's where the romance comes in because the priest married exactly. people. You know, St. Valentine's Day is a romantic holiday. And right. why is it called, you know, romantic holiday? Because in ancient Rome, February was considered the beginning of spring where people would find their mates. Mm -hmm. So that's how Valentine's Day became romantic. Okay. The word romance came from? Romans. If you look at the word romance, uh, it seems to have the word Roman in it. I mean, why is that? So it actually comes from the Latin Romanicus, which means to write in the Roman style. And what, you know, Romans were writing about? They were writing about chivalry, noble men, helping women, of course. So this was when Rome dominated the world. Yes. The letters that they were writing were mostly, you know, in a way, a flowery description. Roman style, yes. So it became romance. Romance, romantic. Very good. Mm -hmm. Passionate. Passionate. Passion actually comes from the word patty, which means to suffer where the word patient comes from also. It's a Latin. It's a Latin yeah, word. Yeah, patty. And you know the passion of the Christ? Yes. It's actually an example of its original meaning. So in the beginning, the word was suffering. Suffering. The passion of the Christ. And how did it develop into a romantic word? S somehow it developed into a romantic word. I guess love hurts. Love hurts. <laughs> love hurts. You think that's how it happened? Um, Kind of, I think so, yeah. Right. I think so, over the time. Desire. Desire, that's a good one. When you desire something, you always look up to the stars, to the sky, hoping, you know, your desire to be fulfilled. So desire comes from the Latin word desadire, which means from the stars. So, if you look to heaven to fulfill your great wishes, You'll That's where the word desire came from. Maybe it'll come from. true. All right. The final one is infatuated. That's my favorite one. Infatuated. When you're infatuated, obsessed over something, you kind of look foolish, right? I think I'll give it to the little red-haired girl. But you can be suave about it, too. Yeah, right? yeah. But the origin of the word infatuated actually describes why you look foolish. Here, little red-haired girl. It comes from foolish means foolish. I'm walking toward the little red-haired girl. So the, the theme sense. for Valentine's Day, according to Marina, is that all the romantic words come from pain. <laughs> come from uh, no, but that's what you being feel, distraught. But this that's isn't what you a happy. You're in love, right? This is a happy. But you have to go through certain levels. But Marina, think about what you've just told us this evening. The two guys that it's named after were executed. <laughs> in fact, means you're a fool. Passion means pain. And at the end, you, you look at the stars, hoping, you know, your desire will come And you look up, it's some hitch in the head. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, Marina. You too. Thank you so much for having me.